Hello everybody, it's been a while since I made a tutorial here on uh, YouTube. Um, this one, I guess it's a little bit of an overview. I won't go through each um, note that you'll place, but kind of just an over, o overview of how to do, um, how to add fonts to UMG and how to have like a settings menu that gets the the screen resolutions and changing graphic settings so I'm just gonna demonstrate what it is so it makes better sense okay it's just loading come on okay so here we if I just hit play demo, it'll open a level. Um, if I go to settings, we have these. These don't quite work the way I want yet. I still have to figure out how to um, use the right console commands for this to work the way I would like. Um, but here you can actually hit the resolution and you can see it changes your resolution. And then I can go to full, full screen go down but there there is a bug or I'm just not doing it correctly when I go down a resolution if I try to go back up it doesn't work but if I have my second screen enabled like dual monitors then it works so I'm not sure why that is um, but other than that you can go to graphics and then change that Let's see how it increases and that's pretty much it okay so first I'm gonna show you how to add fonts all right so here okay so slate font the font name I think it's defaulted to that uh, Roboto font but if if you go to if you find your Windows fonts, you can just copy all of them and then let me find it. Yeah, so if you copy all your fonts and then go into your Unreal Engine folder, so I'm on 4.4, then go to Engine, um, Config, no, I'm sorry. content slate fonts and then just paste them in there and then all the fonts from your um, Windows computer is now available on uh, slate and just make sure when you um, there's no like browsing feature so if you copy the name just make sure you put the dot uh, true type font extension or open type font extension otherwise it won't work and then you can have any font that you want alright so now that we got the fonts um, I'm going to show you how to incorporate the graphic setting um, I don't know if you remember from before there was a video here Unreal Engine for save and load graphic settings if you haven't watched that you can watch it and see how to set that up I'm just using that system that I I worked out um, before we had it set to a key press so now what I what I did is let's see I created a custom event for each one so graphics low graphic medium high and epic let's see so what I did is created a graphics button and created a binding under there we're removing the previous um, image from viewport and then creating another one called graphics s which is this one and it has all the medium low epic high settings and then add to viewport so once it's clicked it'll go to this information which let me see if I can pull that up so you can see it 
Oh, just designer. Yeah, so this is what pops up. You can see all the buttons. So for example, uh, we go to graph. I got all actors of class from my main menu controller here. And I added a for each loop and then I cast it to the main menu controller and then if you just pull from there you will actually get the custom event that we that you made so if I hit low there you can see it and then the, just plug that into the return node so um, when the player actually presses the button since it's bound to this uh, event they'll they'll execute all these commands and then they'll save And then I did the same for medium. Just get all actors for each loop, cast, and then grab the medium custom event. High, the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. And epic is the same. And then here, this is up to you. You don't have to do it. That's just so the actual button, it grays it out when they click it and then all the other ones are going to be visible at that time so I, I had to just make sure I, it was the right button and you can see which button is correct by clicking button and it'll show you the number here so you don't have to do that um, there's also a main menu and all I'm doing is just removing the original uh, viewport that was there and then creating a widget graphics menu C and adding that so then that menu pops up alright so now I want to go over how the screen resolution settings works um, what I used is um, Rama he created a, a plugin here's his link um, get supported screen resolutions for end users current display adapter so if you download this plug in here you'll have access to all the well a, a lot of blueprints actually um, but this particular one I use to get the screens and um, give the player the ability to change them so under the main menu controller where we have all the graphic settings I just had a sequence and brought that out to three arrays I think they're under here yes so these are all integers and in order to get that I just went options and there's the victory uh, blueprint here All I did was set. So I have one for width, height, and hertz. And then you would just plug those in. And that's all you have to do in, in this um this blueprint here. If you go under the settings, they created I believe it stopped here. They had this code in there. So I kind of just added something in the middle here. And all it's doing is we're getting all actors of class from the main menu here. And we're casting to it and getting hertz, height, width. Then if you, you want, you can pause and look at how this is set up. Um, the width is going into this for each loop array. Let's see if I can make that a little more a little easier to read. So that makes sense. Okay. And then we're just combining those strings. There's a little X there to separate the the width from the height and the hertz. And then we're making an array here. 
in the video the tutorial I think they added presets but we're gonna leave it blank so we can add in our own when you use the make array node right there so it's just going in here back in there and then out and then we're getting it after we set it so then here what they did is they just created another widget cast to the resolution item here and they got the where are we are here they grab this variable and then it gets set from what we got here and once it's set then it should upload all the information and execute whatever command we have here based on the player clicking and the only thing I changed here was the R dot set res I just have set res um, I don't think the R dot command that particular command works um, in the package build so this one is working for me the other thing I'm trying to work out is you see how we have these settings I, I want to want this to work well and also so the player has other options as well but I don't know how to do it yet <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to learn this stuff the game user um, settings ini file and I would like to be able to expose like some of these variables so the player can adjust them um, as soon as I figure that out I'll gladly put a tutorial out for that um, I'm hoping I just noticed this page about that platformer game um, epics working on they might have some information here on that maybe I can backwards or reverse engineer it uh, so yeah I guess that's about it um, like I said if you have any questions uh, just ask and leave a comment below um, UMG is fairly new so th there may be some bugs and some crashes will just save often yeah so thank you for watching and I shall talk to you all later bye